Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today I want to show you some really cool things that you might not know you could do in Canva. So Canva has released this new section. It's like a magic section. Um, it's actually called Magic Studio. And it's got some really cool features. Um, a lot of it is not really relevant for graphic design, but there's a couple things that you're going to want to know. Okay, so I'm just going to start a blank design here. Let's just make it a Facebook post, just picking something off of the list there. Okay, so I want to show you two really, really cool features. The first one, it's going to take whatever I have on the screen and it's going to expand the background of it to match, like if it doesn't fit on um, the page. Let me just show you. Okay, so I've got this kind of a square post here. Um, let me see. Let's do pink birthday cake. And I'm gonna find one that does not fit on the square here. So we're gonna want something that's like um, portrait mode. So let's see. Okay, this cake right here. No matter how I expand this, if I wanted it to fill my page and I tried to expand it, like I'm cutting off the cake. There's no way I can make this cake fit on this page. But let's say this is the cake I want. I love this cake, I need this cake for my design, and I need my design to be a Facebook post, so I've gotta make this cake fit on this page. You can do that now. So with this photo highlighted, click Edit Photo, and then come to Magic Expand. And just wait, um, well first of all, it's still up to expand the whole page. You can pick a few different ratios, but I want it to expand the whole page Click Magic Expand, and then just wait to see what it does. It's going to give us four different options that we can choose from. This only works on photos. If you're trying to use a graphic, like a, a drawing, it's not going to work. It's going to have to be a photo that you do this on. Okay, so here's our four options. This is option number one. So that looks pretty good, right? Let's click into option number two. Okay, it's changed some greenery over here and given me some more floral type stuff up here. Let's see option number three. Okay, we've added some not so good silverware to the plate. And option number four, that is some more realistic looking silverware. I like option number four. That's going to be great for my needs and what I'm wanting for this project. So that is how the Magic Expand works. Let me go back and show you what this cake looked like before. I'm going to hit cancel. Okay, so there it is. Now we're going to do the magic expand again. Edit, photo, magic expand, tell it to expand the whole page, and click expand. It's going to take another minute, and it might come up with a few different results this time. It's not exactly the same every time you do it. We do have some different stuff here. Okay. Because now I'm like, this has some green on the plate. Let's get that last one to load. Okay, oh, that has green on the plate too. Okay. Um, it added some decoration to the plate on these. Oh, I like that. I like both of these. So play around with it, do it a few times, you're gonna get different results. So that's the Magic Expand. Let me show you a different thing that we can do. So um, let's come back up and let's do T-shirt mock-up. Okay. So on this one, we're trying, we're going for a different, um, remember, come in here and get photos. This only works on photos. We're going for a different effect here. I want to show you something else you can do with this. Let me find, okay, here we go. So, I'm going to expand this out 
until she is taking up the whole page because I mean we don't want any white around our design right but now that it's taking up the whole page she's kind of right in the middle and I need to write some stuff over here on the side I need her to move over well she can do that now edit photo and use this magic grab what this is going to do is lift the item in the front off of the item in the back it's already done it now watch she goes wherever I want her to go and she can go right there and that leaves me room to write whatever I want to write on this photo now guys these magic studio features are game changers think of all the things that you can do now you can pop items out of photos you can erase things that you don't want you can take a photo that's perfect but not the right um, ratios for your design and you can expand them this is going to be so amazing it's only available with canva pro so you need to give canva pro a try to try out these new features there's other things they've got the magic background remover i've been using that forever um there's a grab text feature there's a magic eraser and there's a magic edit you can see here like it's showing you well shouldn't have clicked it in here hold on let me find a photo that magic edit is going to work with let's see here um okay so here we go let's say we do not want this to be a rose we want this to be a sunflower okay so let's edit photo magic edit you're going to brush over what you do not want Continue. Now, what do I want to put here instead? Large yellow sunflower. And again, it's going to give me four choices. Okay. None of, oh. Now, hold on. If I could just make that bigger. Okay, well, it's not going to make it any bigger. But you can see how this, that fits. You can see how this feature would work. Um, this one I wasn't actually planning on showing in the video, so I didn't have it thought out ahead of time. But that's how that feature works. There's a lot of really, really great stuff for graphic design in this Magic Studio. So use the link in the video and give out Canva Pro a try. That's all I got, guys. We'll see you next time.